you're watching what's in the next box. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you've watched my videos before, welcome back. Today is an auction day. Uh, I went and bought two lockers at a little facility here in town, and we're about to go pick them up. I will show you what they look like when we get there. All right, here we are back at the facility. Have a look at this locker. Big TVs, bow, furniture, all right, here's the other one, five by ten. Get this one cleaned out, all right, just load. Box. Scrubs. Clothing will just go inside. We got here. Xfinity remote. Rodent. HDMI cord. Got an AC adapter. Or what? Probably that cable box, honestly. And lots of pretty nice clothes baskets. Here's a pump for the air mattress. More clothes in there. Alright. I'm actually going to just dump all those clothes back in there. I will let someone else sort through those and move on. Another big tote. Start here. What do we got? Interesting. Ready? What is this? Oh, it's one of those little cups. Kind of cool. This, oh, this is great. This is a shock pen. You put a battery in there, it shocks you. You gotta use it. I'm gonna save this and mess around with my brothers with that. Drumstick, three ring binder sheets, somebody's art, interesting, and here. Oh, no, 
NASCAR cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and baseball cards. Okay. A mix of different types of cards. Interesting. Got a crystal growing set. All right, I'm gonna have to stop and go get another tote to put stock in. I filled up one tote so far. All right, I'm back. Push-up things are so dirty. I'll still wipe them down though. Clean them up. Another skull decoration. Chicago Bulls. Ugh. So dirty. This got some coins here. Put those back in there. And I'll put that in my smalls box to have a closer look at. Some more skull decorations. Somebody's teeth. Yeah, I'm not say that. Two cool bookends. Alrighty. Alright. Next box. Cheap cast iron though. Very thin. <clears throat> yes. The uh, air conditioner is right out here, and so it might be picking up a lot of that noise, which may mess up the audio on this.
that's the next one. A nice LG 55 inch flat screen that was in here. There is uh, what I hope is the remote for it. It's an LG remote. We found it in that locker, so that should be the remote for this. There was not a power cord for that TV, but I found one in our store, so hopefully that works. And I will uh, power this thing up and see if we have a working TV. <laughs> oh, dang it. <sighs> well, it's broken. It is what it is. Here's the other TV that was in that locker. This one has the power cord with it, so hopefully that's a better sign. We've got a working TV here. No response. Nothing. This cart, these two entertainment stands, this hutch or dresser, I don't really know what you'd call it, buffet, I don't know, that piece this couch and those chairs oh and then the drums of course we've already sold some of the drums sold them to my brother uh, and then these are what we have left all that stuff came out of these lockers all right we just found this little safe in that load of stuff that we got out of these lockers I'm going to bust it open and see what is inside there. Let's see how hard it is to bust this one open. All right. What do we got? Zippo pouch, Little pill containers, some 22 bullets, pictures, an SD card. There we go. Nice gold band. Looks like gold. Feels like gold. No real apparent marks on there, but it looks and feels like gold. There you go. Just found another safe. Let's bust it open. Oh, that's a piece of cake. Oh, that's paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Here's the Coca Cola bonds we've been looking for. Go through it back at the store. Nothing immediately valuable. Here is a close up of that ring that we found in uh, that first safe that we opened up. Kind of a good little find. Here's a bucket of smalls that came out of that load of stuff, those two lockers, so I'm going to sort through this and see what's in there.
here is what ended up being in that little box. Starting down here, we've got several uh, belt buckles. Kind of some unique ones there. That's a new one. I've never seen that before. Get close so you can read that. Yeah. Uh, one SD card, a couple SD card adapters. This is a little shock pen. You put a battery in there and then when you go to hit it, it shocks you. It might be fun to mess around with. Several little knives, pocket knives. This is kind of an interesting knife here. This actually looks almost like it might be like a bayonet that somebody has cut and put a new handle on. Kind of interesting. There's that gun cleaning kit again. Some sparklers, fireworks. Here's a, a proof set from what, 92? So sell that in the store. These all claim to be silver dollars, but they're fake. Like, I'm 90% sure they're fake. I'll check them, but they, they look fake, they feel fake. 90% sure they're fake. We found stuff like that before. Found somebody's teeth caps. It's always fun. I'm starting to get actually quite a collection of stuff like that. Uh, here's a Walking Liberty half dollar from 1936. Pretty worn, but... We'll sell that in the store and do pretty well with it actually. A really, really worn buffalo nickel. Here's two buffalo nickels that are in substantially better shape in a little case. And then just change to put in our change jar. So pretty good little bucket there actually. Quite a bit of value there. I will uh, price this stuff up and let you guys know what we got for value uh, with this stuff right here. These are the items that I priced right away out of that stuff to go out in our store. And I got a total of $87 here. And this isn't everything, of course. This is just what I priced to go out in our store right away. $87, and it'll be stuff that's real easy to sell for us. So, a good little box. I just got done looking these up, and they are all fake. And I know they're fake because I looked up the information on each coin and then uh, the specifications, I should say, and then weighed them, and they were all not even close to the correct weight for a real coin. So they are fake. Here's this bow that was in one of those units. It's just a youth bow, pretty small little compound bow there. Made by Bear. Not a lot of value there, but it'll be pretty easy to sell out of our store. There was a couple arrows with it. Uh, one of the arrows was broken though, so we just got one arrow with it. But again, pretty easy item to sell out of our store. Here's another kind of interesting item that came out of those lockers. And then it comes apart. Sword on both sides. Not in great shape, and they're just cheap you know, decorative type things, but kind of cool, and they will sell really well out of our store, or it will sell really well out of our store. So, another kind of cool find out of these couple of lockers. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos.